hello guys welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to perform a curled operation with the mysql so basically we will show the data from the mysql insert the data update the data and delete the data so in the last video we just uh, config the database uh, database and the uh, mysql with the laravel and if you don't see that then you can if you don't watch this video then you can watch now and uh, if you want to continue this video then no issue you can uh, watch from here also so we just uh, have to put the database name uh, username and password in the .env file and the database will be configured here all right so here you can in, uh, you can see that in the last video we just select the data okay so we can write this query from the very starting so this is my you can see that this is my router here uh, in the web.php file okay and i already made a, a controller with a tutorial name and uh, you can watch the previous video to if you want to know that how to make the controller if you are not familiar with that all right and uh, let's at the last you can see my test database here and in the test database you can see my uh, ignore the warnings uh, users table all right so now let's start with the code so in the show uh, function uh, I am going to show the data uh, and uh, we will fetch the data from uh, the database and we will show the data here all right so now just uh, take the variable with the data and you can just simply write that db dot select and uh, from here where we got this db actually we got this db from this library which is the illuminate support and facet and the db class all right so now uh, in the select you can simply write here the your command let's say select star from users all right and if you are going to print r then print r to, to data and you will able to see the data here all right so just see okay so you got here the data is here all right okay so after that i'm going to make one more function for the save data so now you can see that we have only two tape two datas one is the sam and one is the dylan so we are going to insert the third data here all right so just save the function copy here okay and if you want to remove this then you can remove uh, this will uh, use to get the data from the uh, HTML form and the apis so if you want to remove this then that's okay so just provide this function save all right and here you can write this simply uh, echo dollar db all right and uh, it's actually class name so we don't need to put the dollar here okay and it's uh, and here you can simply write your query all right so here you can write this simply insert and your query is here insert into users and you can put the column name where you want to install so let's say you want to uh, you want to save the name comma email and then password all right okay then just write the values here inside the course inside the in the values you can simply uh, put three question mark why we have to put a three question mark to save the SQL injection so we are not directly write the queries so we are we are write the queries like this in the ladder all right and after that uh, you can take the second parameter in the insert like the uh, first name is the name so let's say say the name is John okay if, if you are thinking that query is going wrong uh, query is going long then you can take it in the second 
columns and the second is uh, email john at the rate 123 and just you can simply save the password here let's say 12345 all right okay so i think query is fine so now just make the second path here uh just change the uh, function name in the router and just try to refresh this and you can see that we got the one here that means the data should be saved here so now let's check that with to refresh this and you can see that we got the third data here with the john also all right and after that i am going to uh, write one more function with the update all right so just write uh, here update and the update you can okay just we will we will write this query again update and here you can write your query like update users which is the table name and set let's say password equal to uh, new you have to use the single quotes here new pass one two three four five whatever you want to say that you can write where id so let's check the id let's say you want to put uh, change the password on the id number seven okay so where id equal to you can simply write here seven all right and query is finished here all right so i'm going to hide this for now okay so now just uh, update this here and if you want to make the separate uh, router then it's your wish uh, for to make the simple i'm just changing the name here okay so now just refresh it so you can see that we got once again here so after the refresh this password should be changed here okay so now you see that the new password is here so that means password is also changed okay so now let's do the final thing also here so uh, i'm going to copy this function again so that we can do it very quickly okay so just write delete okay and here in uh, you can write the delete uh, command we like delete from users which is your table name where id equal to sim you can write here simply seven all right that's fine so now let's check that is delete working so now we here in the database we have the three columns here three rows here and after that there should be two one and sec uh, one and two the seven should be, should be delete because we are just deleting it from with this code with the seven id so now let's check all right so the response is again one that means two so now let's check that so you can see that the record is deleted from here also so this is the basic uh, uh, query builder functionality or you can say that the curd in the mysql in the next video we will use the model for the uh, mysql uh, queries so don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have any kind of question then you can ask me in the comment box and don't forget to hit the like button also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video again